So, Rolling Stones apparently has written twice about Chris Tyson. Once was when Chris came out as trans or whatever, and they were calling all the people who were attacking Chris transphobic, as you can see on the screen uh, right here. Doing my best here. I'm holding my microphone in one hand, my blue snowball in one hand, and my cell phone in the other. But as you can see right here, you know, transphobic. And then the second one was recently, right here, where both of them, you can tell, are super skewed in one direction. Like, one complete direction. There's no nuance. There's no sense of impartiality. No, it's just completely just, oh... Chris Tyson, the poor trans person being attacked. Miss me with that garbage. Miss me with that nonsense. Um, but what we're going to do is we're going to look at the second one, the newest one, the one that was made a day ago. Ava Chris Tyson is stepping away from all things Mr. Beast amid allegations she, you know what, it a minor. The alleged victim has refuted the claims. Let's see what they actually used for a headline. Mm. Pull it up, pull it up, pull it up. Ava Chris Tyson steps away from all things Mr. Beast amid transphobic attacks. Yes, transphobic attacks. That's what we're going with. That is exactly what we're going with here, people. <laughs> Tyson was ac accused of grooming a minor. The alleged victim, now 20 years old, refutes the claims. Well, you know, the... First off, disclaimer, these are my opinions, and my opinions alone, uh, these are all allegations and alleged. So there, my legal jargon is out of the way. You do realize that a child who was successfully groomed will not think that they were groomed by an, an adult in any way, shape, or form, right? Just, just throwing that out there. That's my thought process in all this. Could be wrong. Could be wrong. But still, still. Here, here's what it says. Oh, you used to be able to just read the story. Now you have to subscribe to read the story. There, they put the story. The story was open to everyone. They now put it behind a paywall of nine ninety nine a month. Because earlier, earlier today, I was able, or earlier yesterday, it's 12.08 in the morning now, I was able to just open it up and read it. They put it behind a paywall. Let's see if they put any of their, any of their other stories behind a paywall. Because first off, if they don't put their other stories behind a paywall, this is gross that you're putting a, ch a potential child abuse situation behind a paywall. Let's just click on a random one. Okay, so apparently you do have to... Ugh. Who needs to see these people like this? Ugh. Okay. So I feel a little bit better. But earlier I was able to actually click on the thing. I was actually able to click on the thing. But either way, just the headline itself is disgusting and gross. You're more worried about Chris being trans and people misgendering Chris Tyson, and most likely you left out a huge chunk of information that was important to the story. Because it did not just have to do with lava. It did not just have to do with what he said or what was going on with that situation. It had to do with Shadman and all this other stuff of Chris liking art of underage peoples. It's just weird how these media outlets refuse to, you know, look into things further than it is. The fact that they refuse to report that he, like, followed a dude who drew Keemstar's eight-year-old kid at the time in inappropriate ways. Like, how is this okay, bro? <laughs> but it's Rolling Stones. Does anybody ever read Rolling Stone anymore? Like, they used to be the edgy music rock thing and now if you actually click on their stuff it's less about music and more about politics and crap like that i mean i should not oh that's ironic that's a, that's a, that, that's ironic 
Chris Brown is suing for $15 million by security guard over alleged backstage assault. That's that's ironic coming from a man who did things to Rihanna, but that's beside the point. Sorry, that wasn't planned. None of this is planned, but I just find it weird that the music publication is going so hand over fist for Chris Tyson and Mr. Beast and all this other stuff because they're a political rag now. How does a music publication, a rock music publication, become a freaking political rag now? That makes no sense to me. And it never will make sense to me. Because at the time, they were the counterculture, and now they just became the culture. I grew up listening to Christian music, and I still know Rolling Stone, from a mainstream secular position, was supposed to represent the counterculture. I'm 31. Now they just are a part of the machine. When you hear Rolling Stone magazine, you just think part of the machine. You just think, oh, they're just going to say whatever, whatever is profitable. Whatever is profitable. Screw music. Rock and roll must be dead. Because if they really cared about rock, they would just be constantly posting about that. Or music at all, they would just constantly be posting about that. But no, they don't give a shit. They don't give a care. It's completely just, what can we get away with politically? How can we push our political candidate forward? And that's why nobody listens to you. I follow a lot of music channels that follow rock and roll. Nobody listens to Rolling Stone. I follow a lot of people that are apolitical, but probably lean more left than you would think. And they say they don't watch or listen to Rolling Stone because of how super political they've become. So I'm not surprised that they say that, oh, the attacks are transphobic. They're not transphobic. I'm so sick and tired of every time a trans person gets called out for crap and we don't respect the trans person's pronouns because the trans person's a piece of shit who did horrible things to people or at least is into really gross degenerate shit. I follow a trans woman who has stated she got into an argument with her co-workers and she said, nope, I'm not calling Chris a she. That is a whole ass dude. You do inappropriate things with minors, you are a whole ass dude and don't deserve respect. There are people online, on the internet, right now, supporting and defending, you know, Chris Tyson's respective pronouns. And I'm like, why the fuck are you doing that? What, what, what is your deal with doing that? That is so weird, in my personal opinion, that you would fight tooth and nail for Chris's pronouns. You're like, yeah, Chris is a pedophile, but still call Chris she. No. And they're going through and digging through any article, any tweet that mentions Chris Tyson. They're looking for people who are being so-called transphobic towards Chris Tyson. They're looking for that nonsense. They want it to be true. And they will dig and dig and dig. So they're less worried about the actions that Chris did, and they're more worried about the misgenderings. Oh. And then they try to flip it on you, like, well, if you're so, if you're more worried about Chris being called a, 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 she, a she than you than you are the victim, then you're the sick person. I just don't think a, a a guy who does weird things to kids or a girl should be called whatever they were wanting to be called before. I'm sorry, you you've you've lost all right to that. I think if it causes your dysphoria to go off, cool, good. I want your dysphoria to, to cause you all the anguish in the world, if you really do have it. And every time people see you, they call you a guy. And that dysphoria continues to hurt over and over again. Because I do not support sick bastards who do weird things around kids. Creepy things around kids. Bruh. Bruh. Usually when sane people tr do really weird or inappropriate shit, they try to get help for it, or they try to better themselves, get off the internet and better themselves. Not Chris. Certainly not Chris. 
Well, guys, thanks for listening to my rantings and my ravings. I appreciate it. If you liked it, hit the like button. Subscribe, hit the bell icon, all that jazz. Um, hopefully, you have a blessed day. Take care of yourselves. Bye. And we are done.